Welcome back to OCR MEI for the Mathematics B. Today we're doing chapter 4.1, Introductory Matrices. So, you might have dealt with matrices during GCSE years. I'm going to teach you from the basics, uh, start from addition and subtraction, followed by how to multiply two matrices. Then I'm going to talk about the two special matrices called the zero, and the identity. So starting from a simple 2x2 two two matrices, in general form it's A, B, C and D. In order to add two matrices, you must have the same dimension. So if it's a 2x2, two two, you must follow it up with a 2x2. Two And when you do that, it's actually just simply the four components added on top of each other. So it's A plus E, in this case, B plus F, C plus G, and D plus H. Addition, fairly sim uh, simple. Um, if you have, say, a row factor at a column factor it doesn't exist there aren't such a thing so cross that out completely now make sure uh, dimensions again very important to remember now addition is done subtraction is exactly the same except negative signs so that explains the first point that I want to talk about today second point is multiplication. Multiplication uh, for this case, it doesn't need to necessarily be of the same dimension. One thing to note is that when you read the dimension of a matrix, say I have A, B, C, D, E, F, for this matrix, it would be a uh, 2 by 3 matrix. So you first count the number of rows, then you count the number of columns. Uh, for a multiplication, uh, one key thing to note is if you put two matrix together next to each other, uh, they can be of different dimensions. Uh, let's see, G, H, R, J. They can be of different dimensions except the second. Uh, so if I write this as a 2 by 3, and if I write this as a 2 by 2, these two values has to be the same. So in this case, this will not be able to be multiplied. However, if I add uh, K and L on top of this matrix to make this a 3 by 2 now I can multiply them so make sure you check dimensions for multiplications that said let's try to multiply this out so um, I've briefly taught how to do matrix uh, matrix multiplication back when I did the AQA certificate for the mathematics series. If you're interested, go check it out in uh, chapter 9, I believe it's matrices. Anyway, so in general, for a square matrix, I'm gonna put a square matrix A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. You always take a row and multiply it by a column. So in this case, because the number of components on a row is 3, and the number of components on a column is 3 in this case, they can be uh, matched. If they have different lengths, they can't be matched and you can multiply. For this one, it would be A, 
uh, basically the dot product of this factor with this uh, column factor which is AE plus BG we have talked about dot product before if you haven't learned dot product go back to chapter 3 where I taught you how to do so same for uh, the second row CD with the same column EG CD uh, no CE plus B, uh, B G then we have A, B and F, H A, F plus B, H C, D, F, H C, F plus D, H that would be my multiplied uh, 2 by 2 matrix for this one it's it works exactly the same it will be A, G plus B, I plus C, K for the first component etc go on to expand uh, just remember it's doing the dot product it's nothing special this set however uh, we we need to talk about where the components uh, where the result go on the matrix so for 2x2 two two matrix uh, it happens to create another 2x2 two two matrix in the end and for say row 1 and column 1 they would give you the uh, matrix at the location 1 1 which is the first value of, of the first row so first row of the first column if I start with a row 1 column 2 I will have the component on the results first row second column right here so basically it's just um, you follow where which row and column you used and put it at its corresponding location on the 2x2 two two or 3x3 three three matrix again you can apply this for 3x3 three three. it's a bit more co um, well more steps it's not anywhere as complicated uh, anywhere more complicated let's say it's exactly the same difference uh, difficulty. Now I'm going to talk about uh, identity matrix and the zero matrix. Let's start with zero. So as, as we know the value of zero means empty, nothing. So a zero matrix in the 2x2 two two is zero, 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 zero. Nothing special. If you multiply anything by zero matrix you get the zero matrix just like if you multiply any real numbers by zero matrix you get zero if you add any zero uh, any matrix by the zero matrix you basically get the original matrix that you have same applies for normal number zero which is really helpful to know so uh, normally it's not that oftenly used uh, but sometimes it can come in handy now one much more useful uh, matrix called the identity matrix has the form 1 0 0 1 or in 3D it's 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 so it's either this 3x3 three three identity or a 2x2 two two identity um, there are only identities for square matrix, uh, matrices so these uh, uh, non-square matrices cannot be uh, well there are no identities so what do you mean by identities? let's take an example so if I have, uh, let's see, A, B, C, D, 
multiplied by the identity matrix, guess what we get? A plus zero, so we get A, then we have zero plus B is just B, C plus zero is C, then we have zero plus D is D. So that looks the same as your starting point after multiplication. So that means that the identity matrix is similar to just the value of 1 in normal number, whereas you multiply it by the identity, you get the same value. So this is the most important point of the identity matrix. It is very, very widely used everywhere, and make sure you know the general form, because you can expand that to infinite dimensions. For this, uh, I think for A level, you're only expected to do up to uh, 3D factors, which is plenty. Uh, if you were to go any higher, you would prefer to have a a graphical calculator to carry out the uh, calculation for you because the steps get exponentially more as we go to higher dimensions which I'll talk about during the section when I talk about the inverse or the uh, division of matrices in the future but for now this will be the end of this introductory uh, chapter. I hope you have learned something and if you have any questions regarding matrices let me know in the comments and I will see you on my next one.